Well, I had noted in one of my other segments that the most popular diamond system shot for years was the standard corner five or five three system. Uh, but then I got involved in the two cushion system and showed you how easy it was to use the diamond system without going three rails. Uh, I want to now go into the version of the uh, diamond system which requires uh, a little bit more calculation, but you may use it on occasion and you should know this just to have that equipping in your game. Uh, what we've got in front of us here is we've got uh, an object ball sitting to my left in the corner pocket, and we've got a cue ball sitting to my right in the corner pocket. Uh, and we've got, uh, shoot this cue ball three cushions around the table. It's going to hit this as the first cushion. It's going to hit the second cushion. It's going to hit the third cushion. And the cue ball is going to travel toward this corner, hopefully to make the eight ball, at least to make contact. Now, for years, uh, a person would shoot this shot, and they would aim where I've got that three up on top of that rail, which is basically the third diamond from the end down there. If you go down to the corner pocket, this would be the first diamond from the end, second, and the third. And that was referred to as just the number three diamond. I refer to it as the 30 diamond because it's easier actually to do some subtraction here a little bit later. And then as the cue ball travels around the table, it would travel around one, two, three cushions and come off near this second diamond, which was called the two diamond. I call it the 20 diamond. So it's going to be a little bit easier to remember these numbers now and to subtract them when you have to. Uh, the way you start this, first you have to get a feel for the table. It's called reading the personality of the table. To do that, we shoot a cue ball out of this corner and we start by aiming at the third diamond. We aim at the diamond, the 30, 30 point. We hit the cue ball with high right English. And when the cue ball, that's your natural running English, we hit the cue ball and we watch where the cue ball comes off the second diamond. And it should travel in above this corner. If you notice right here, it comes in about a half a diamond above the corner. Now, in the person I have this particular table I'm on, this is a top flight professional diamond table. Uh, but every table you play on, because of the elements, it could be a little more humidity, it could be the cloth is a little bit tighter. It could be whatever it might be. It has the effect of the elements in the room, and the elements, no matter where you're playing, affect uh, the diamond angles. So therefore, the person I have this particular table is by aiming at the third 30 point, it comes around and goes a half a diamond short of this ball. So the way you would read this table and do a compensate accordingly would have been move a half a diamond that direction from the 30 standard starting point. So I'm going to aim a half a diamond that direction to compensate for this angle over here. And we're going to see what the cue ball does this time. We hit the cue ball on the right side, it comes down, and now it goes to the corner pocket, as you can see like that. So that's the personality of this particular table, and you want to do that from all four corners if you get a chance before a match for that particular table. Now, we're going to use that in the calculation here for this shot. Now, the way the calculation starts is simple. We move over here behind the object ball. Now, the object ball is sitting in a particular numbered track line, we call it. The track line is the cue ball hits this first cushion, the second cushion, the third cushion, and that track line from the two ball, which is the 20 point, goes right to the corner. So if the eight ball is anywhere on that track line, it's called 20. If it's off, that's a different track line. But for this study, we're going to primarily only include the foundational starting 50-30 track line of 20. So the value of this ball is 20. Once you know the value of that, you can move to the cue ball. This is a completely different set of numbers. And when you're behind the cue ball, when it's in this corner pocket, it has a value of 50. Now, you have to memorize those numbers. In other words, you're going to start with the object ball value. You're then going to calculate the cue ball value. So when it's in the corner, it's always 50. And when it goes other directions, it has other numbers. But the bottom line is we take the value of the object ball from the value of the cue ball. And when you subtract 20 from 50, you get 30. That tells you where to aim on the first rail. However, as we just found out, the person at the table doesn't allow us to shoot at 30 because it's going to come in short of the ball. So because we tested the table ahead of time, we can move down that half a diamond. That's called a half a diamond segment adjustment for the short angle of the table. And sometimes you have to make other little adjustments, but that's the primary adjustment you'll make. So we're pretty much ready to shoot it now. We've got the 20 value of the object ball, the 50 value of the cue ball. We subtract the two. That gives us the aiming on the first row of 30. And then by making the that adjustment of a half a diamond down the table with the right running English, we're ready to shoot the shot. And that's how you use the 50-30 diamond system, just like this. It comes right here over to the corner pocket. Works great. So this is a wonderful system. Now, as you move the cube up and down the rail, you could use numbers. But I, in the next segment, I'm actually going to include a little bit easier way of hitting a ball so you don't have to use those numbers. So as you learn this 50-30 three-cushion kick system, uh, it's something you put in your bag, bag arsenal of tricks, your ammunition for your opponent. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play with a lot of the trick shots and using the three cushion kick shot, things like that. But 
This is kind of a more complicated system. I think you've got the points of this without any problem. We took our time on it to try to explain it. Uh, and of course, you can always contact me at my website if you have any more questions about this, but uh, we have other material on this uh, system. So I hope you've thoroughly enjoyed this CSI instructional tip.